in the plenary session of today's uh, ASEAN summit meeting in Myanmar, several heads of state and government expressed support for the principles of uh, following the rule of law and peaceful settlement of dis disputes, which have been the key concepts promoted by the Philippines in past meetings of ASEAN. We will recall that in the middle of 2012, the foreign minister's meeting failed to come up with a communique. But in uh, December 2012, on the prodding of President Aquino, there was agreement that ASEAN should start fleshing out the declaration on the code of conduct of parties involved in the uh, South China Sea uh, disputes. And from then on, there's been significant progress in terms of uh, uh, attaining support for the positions taken by the government. Sir, yung pong mga naging pahayag ng mga leaders, ano pong pinagkaiba nila ngayon? In today's plenary, I heard uh, Prime Minister Najib Razak of Malaysia uh, call for a complete demonstration of ASEAN solidarity in terms of uh, promoting adherence to the rule of law. And he said that this is the way by which ASEAN would project itself as a respectable and reliable organization. We will notice that Malaysia, like the Philippines, also is also involved in disputes over uh, maritime domain in the South China Sea. And later on, in extemporaneous remarks following his prepared statement, President Susilo Bambang Yudjohono of Indonesia, who was congratulated by many of his fellow heads of state and government as he is uh, completing his two, year, two terms of office as Indonesian president, President uh, uh, Susilo Bambang Yudjohono also emphasized the need for ASEAN solidarity and he called on uh, the members of ASEAN to show moral courage. And uh, he spoke uh, after the, the, the president of Vietnam also uh, uh, called on ASEAN solidarity for, uh, for following the rule of law. We are aware that Vietnam is uh, <coughs> contesting certain actions taken against it in the South China Sea. Where did the President of Indonesia also say something about gun diplomacy? I heard him say that uh, there, sh there should be no room for the use of gun diplomacy because, uh, in fact, what should be promoted are peaceful means of settling disputes by following the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea and the uh, ASEAN Declaration on the Code of Conduct. Thank you very much. Sure, other countries what in the plenary session, I, I heard the Prime Minister of Malaysia uh, and the President of Indonesia and the President of Vietnam uh, speak uh, with emphasis no, on the need for supporting these principles. The other heads of state may have touched on it in, in a general, in a more general way. But I think uh, there were further discussions on the, during the retreat, except that uh, we are not aware yet of what transpired, because only the heads of state and government and their foreign ministers were present during the retreat. Sorry, sir, I was not here earlier, but if I may have you repeat yourself, uh, what did President Aquino actually say to the rest of the ASEAN leaders? Well, his uh, speech covered the items in the agenda, uh, including uh, the movement towards the ASEAN community, or ASEAN integration, also the issues on women and uh, children and on gender mainstreaming. He thanked uh, the ASEAN for their support for the signing of the comprehensive agreement on the Bangsamoro and particularly Malaysia for being the country facilitator. He also thanked the countries that supported the Philippines during the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan 
and uh, continue to give support to the country in the rehabilitation period. Specifically on the South China Sea, what was the message that he wanted to impress upon the leaders? He did not make any specific statement on the South China Sea in his uh, intervention during the plenary, but he said after he read his statement that he was going to, uh, to say something during the retreat. I was not present during the retreat. Do, does he believe that ASEAN can do more if China does not want to move on its position? President Aquino has always been a consistent promoter and advocate of the principle that countries should settle their disputes using a rules-based approach and in the context of ASEAN following the declaration of the Code of Conduct of parties in the South China Sea. And what did, sorry, you mentioned earlier, what did the Vietnamese um, Prime Minister say? I heard the President of Vietnam, or the Vietnamese Prime Minister, uh, uh, talk about the situation in the South China Sea involving uh, Vietnam and uh, China, and he called also for ASEAN solidarity in supporting uh, the principles of the rule of law. But when it comes to actions, I mean, is there anything that ASEAN can do aside from just issuing statements? I think we should uh, wait for the declaration of the heads of state and government. And I was pointing out earlier that the ASEAN foreign ministers already issued their own statement earlier. But it appears that China is saying that this is not an ASEAN issue. Um, China, you know, has indicated that this is a squarely a bilateral or, a, you know, a individual country's issues. Well, if that is the position of China, then the countries of ASEAN are also uh, uh, making their own statement on that on that matter. Thank you, sir.